Now, let us learn about each of them in brief. Let us start with the lever. You might be wondering what a lever is. Students, lever is a rigid bar which is capable of turning about a fixed point. The fixed point about which the lever can turn is called the fulcrum. A heavy object can be lifted by applying less amount of force on the lever. The object which has to be moved or lifted by a lever is called the load. And the force applied to move or lift the object is called effort. Students, consider AB is a lever rotating about the fulcrum F. Now, let L be the load and E be the effort applied. The distance between the fulcrum and effort is called the effort arm. And the distance between the fulcrum and the load is called the load arm. When the lever is in balanced condition, effort into effort arm is equal to load into load arm. This is known as the principle of lever. Depending on the position of the load, effort and fulcrum, a lever can be classified into three types. They are first class lever, the second class lever and the third class lever. First, first class lever. Students, in the first class of lever, the fulcrum is situated between load and effort. Look at the picture. The examples of first class lever are beam balance, scissors, seesaw, pliers and so on. All of these have fulcrum in between the load and the fort. What then is a second class lever? Students, in this type of lever, the load is situated between the effort and the fulcrum. The examples of this type of lever are wheelbarrow, bottle opener, nutcracker, punching machine and so forth. Finally, the third class lever. Students, in the third class of lever, the effort is situated in between the load and fulcrum. The examples of third class lever are broom, forceps, spade, human arm, fishing rod, sugar tongues and so on. Look at this activity. Students, take a wooden scale of 30 centimeters in length. Now, fix a pin exactly at 15 centimeters as shown in the figure. Set the position of the scale free until it becomes horizontal. Now, suspend different standard weights to the both ends of the scale. And adjust the horizontal position of the scale. Now measure the distance of each weight on either side of the scale from the fixed point. Consider load, that is L, to the weight on the sides of the left and effort E to the weight on the sides of the right. 
Repeat the above process for different standard weights and fill in the table.